So we had a few questions about this effect where it looks like a hand is moving things onto the slide or moving images around. Let me go ahead and play this so you can have a look. It's actually a pretty easy effect to set up. Basically, all you need is an image of a hand and then whatever image or shape that you want the hand to move. And then you just add some motion path animations in PowerPoint. So let's see how to build this. This is what the PowerPoint file looks like for the published slide that we just saw, but we're gonna start over here with a fresh one just so that it's a little bit easier to see each of the steps as we walk through them. Okay, my hand image right here comes from elearningart.com, um, and I believe it's still available as part of the free samples that you can get from that site. Um, you could also, of course, take your own photograph and use that, but you do need an image with a transparent background so that you can you know, see the image that's behind the hand. In this case, this one's a PNG, which works great for something like this. So what you'll wanna do is select both of the objects and then we're gonna move them a little bit. We're gonna um, slide them right off of the canvas of the slide so that you can't see them because this is where we want the motion path to begin. And then with both of the objects selected, I'm gonna come over to my custom animation pane, choose add effect, motion paths, and then in this example, I'm gonna choose to send them to the right so that they move onto the slide. And then we need to do a little bit of tweaking here. One thing is um, they're currently set to a speed of medium, which to me seems way too slow. So I'm gonna go ahead and change both of them to fast. And if you want, you can also change the start of the animation. Right now it's set to on click. I usually like to leave mine as on click because that's the type of animation that'll be recognized by presenter when it's time to sync my animations with my audio narration. But if you wanted to, you could change this to with previous or you know whatever if you wanted it to start right when the slide starts. Okay, the other thing that we need to do is um, change the motion path length because we want it to move all the way onto the slide. You can see that it's pretty short right now. So with this motion path selected, I'm gonna hold down my shift key to keep it nice and straight, and then I'm gonna stretch this to about the middle of my slide. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other motion path that applies to the hand. And this one I'm not gonna move um, quite as far because they are staggered in their position. And then if I click this play button here to see how that looks, now that looks about right, so this is good. Now, if I also want the hand to move out of the picture instead of staying on the slide, I can add another motion path to that same image. So we can select the hand, choose add effect, motion paths, and then this time let's choose down. We'll choose a downward motion path. And once again, I would probably wanna change this to fast to match the speed of the other one. And in this case, I'm gonna change the start of the animation to after previous, because I want the, the hand to move off of the slide as soon as it's done um, you know, pushing that map into the middle of the slide. Okay, so this is all good, but right now, um, that second motion path, you can see, um, starts at uh, the same place as the previous motion did, and that's not gonna work, because we really want it to start way over here at the end of the previous path, right? When the hand is done moving the map onto the slide. So what we need to do is select this motion path and we're gonna just drag it over here to the end of the previous one so that the green part of the arrow um, lines up with the red part of the previous arrow. And you can kind of eyeball this, but to make it easier to match things up, it really helps to have the snap option in PowerPoint turned on. And to do that, you can select any object and then choose the format tab. And then you wanna choose this um, align dropdown right here and then choose grid settings. And I like to keep this one marked right here, it's snap objects to grid. Some people also like this one, which is snap objects to other objects. So you can experiment and see which one, which one works well for you. So now if I click play to see what this looks like, we can see that the hand moves the map onto the slide and then it moves out of view. So that looks about like we wanted it to. So these motion paths, by the way, um, publish just fine with Presenter, so it's kind of a neat way to add a little bit of visual interest to your e-learning course.